afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Baltimore Orioles and the Tampa Bay Rays. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Ryan Yarbrough, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, one of the keys to this guy is throwing strikes. He's not a big strikeout pitcher, only averages less than seven strikeouts per nine innings pitch. So he's more of a pitch-to-contact guy, and you'll know if he's on early. He needs to get quick outs early in counts. Striding in, Andrew Velasquez. He will lead this one off today. Number 88. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. That's 1-0. and And, guys, the Rays, as they begin play here this afternoon, they've been hot of late, winners in four straight. And, Matty V, yeah, these are the dog days. August is that one month where you start looking at your teammates and you're like, man, I, I'm getting really tired of seeing the same faces. You get to pick your own friends after the postseason. You've got to find a way to get through August. September, you start to see light at the end of the tunnel. No yeah. doubt about it, d -Roll. It's a tough thing when you grind into that 162-game schedule. You'd like to think that everybody always gets along, and hopefully, d -Roll, this team can continue playing well through the month of August, and hopefully that means some good things to come in the month of September. A ball of no strikes. As usual, no surprise, 72 degrees, the game time temperature here inside Tropicana Field. Hit on the ground out to short. Adamas brings it in. Throw gets him, two down. That is third. The designated hitter, Renato Nunez. Standing in, Renato Nunez. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Aye. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Well, d Daryl Parker behind the dish, and you never really know what you're going to get from this guy. Yeah, sometimes, and I'd hate to be mean and say he flips a coin back there because that's... There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. Into the box, Nate Lowe. Batting four. The first base Can't the first find ball. the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Low. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Hit on the ground toward the left. He's got it. Throw not nearly in time as he reaches it first. Hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, d and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle, and you know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. This is line to left. Tucker will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Keegan Aiken, a Michigan-born lefty, gets the starting job here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, if you're looking for Achilles' heel from this pitcher, this jumps right out at you. Right-handed batters are hitting over 300 on the season against this guy. That's something he's going to have to improve on if he expects to pitch well in this one. Into the box and now, Kevin Kiermaier. He'll lead things off the here in the Kiermaier. bottom half of the first. Kevin. And the pitch. Kiermaier. 
Help one and oh. Well, guys, these Orioles entering play today. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Maddie, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one and three, haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. And he's behind now as he missed badly on that swing. One and two. Made him look silly with that one. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Just flat out froze him there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball. So I think he wasn't expecting it at all. Kyle. Tucker. At the plate now, Kyle Tucker. As he'll take a look at ball one. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Two balls and no strikes to the Rays' left fielder. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders, but now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. Popped him up. Rutschman is in his tracks now. And there's the second out of the inning. Batting third. The designated hitter. Off there. Now in the box, Austin Meadows. A real threat with the bat, of course, as he currently leads the American League in home runs. First pitch of the at-bat. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Meadows is a prolific power hitter, and you probably didn't need me to tell you that. Doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces, there's a lot of pop in that bat. Yeah, this guy absolutely does not discriminate. And you could close your eyes during batting practice and know exactly who's hitting the baseball in the cage. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. One inning in the books here. The O's lead this. Second inning set to go. And next it'll be the outfielder, DJ Stewart. Number 24. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0-1. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. That can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. Oh, but the feed to the shortstop is off the mark. Adapt and persevere. That's what I always said on the offensive side. Down in the count right there. Batter hits a ground ball the other way. He's able to fight off a tough count and get himself a base hit. Austin Hayes the next to bat. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Renfro has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. Batting it. The catcher, Adley Rutschman. Into the box, Adley Rutschman, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Well thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. Yeah. Right down the middle with a changeup, but not what he was looking for, taken for a strike. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Long run, but he tracks this one down out there for the second out. Nice play. Batting done. The second baseman, Ramon Urias. At the plate, Ramon Urias. And he's just hoping for something to go his way in this one. And as you can see, it's not been the case of late. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. That's inside. 
The 1-0 is looked at for ball number two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Orioles leave one. And after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. So coming to the plate, Hunter Renfro, and he does so riding a nine-game hitting streak, so he's certainly a threat with the bat right now. Renfro. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Now a drive by Renfro. This is hit well out to left. And gone. An absolute bomb. Hunter Renfro leaves the yard with a solo shot. Number 23 for him thus far. And with it, the Rays have drawn even at one apiece. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Aiken, a left-hander who goes an even six feet. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball, one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Base is empty here with nobody out. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Running hard. He's digging for second. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. Off the bat, it was pretty clear right away that that hit was going to get him at least two bases. Yeah, Matt, some people like to crow about homers and power drives, but you have to like hits like this. A no-doubt double the second it left his bat. Like you said, the only question was whether the outfielders were going to be able to keep him at second, which they did. Here's the first pitch to him. Runs up and gets this one down. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. From the stretch. Tries to drop one down here, but he misses. Strike two. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Diaz stands at second with no outs. Right side, hit hard. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment. Able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Here's the catcher, Luke Maley. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire, ball two. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. Takes this the other way to right, and that'll bring home the runner from third to make this a two-to-one ball game. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. To the plate now, Willie Adamas. 
Ball one. And that misses for ball one. And they're runners at the corners now. And that's high and away, and the count goes to 2-0. and oh. Adamas, just 24 years of age. He's in his third season as a major league player. 2-1 and one after the foul ball there. From the stretch. Swing and a miss, and that's a much-needed first out there. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. At the plate, Dominic Smith, as the first pitch to him, runs a bit inside for ball one. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Still only one out in the inning. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. Popped him up. Rutschman is there. Two gone. Now batting. The center fielder. Kevin. Kiermeyer. Stepping in. Kevin Kiermeyer. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Looking to minimize the damage here. Oh, that's out. Ball left up. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Two and one to the Rays' leadoff batter. The set and the two one. Runners at the corners, two men out. Now a ball lined to the left side, but this will be a foul ball. Here's the two and two. And this is swung on and missed as the 30th pitch of this inning finally does the trick. The side is retired. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message in a word. Back now at Tropicana Field, home of the Rays, who have benefited from some solid pitching all season long. In terms of ERA and whip, they rank among the best pitching staffs in the league, leading some of the position players I talked with to sing their praises, while also emphasizing how happy they are to play behind them on defense instead of facing them in the batter's box. One of them told me, our guys are awesome on the mound. They keep us in every game, and they really work hard as a group to push each other to get better all the time. I really appreciate what they bring to this team. Sounds like a group that has earned a lot of respect around the league and from inside their own clubhouse. All right, Heidi, thank you. That's popped up. And nope, this one falls, so we'll get another shot. Hey. On a good curveball. Came back to catch the strike zone there, and it's 0-2. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. On the ground to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. 
Getting a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Well, if you're going to bobble the ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. First offering on its way. Hey. I know he stole a strike right there, but he better be careful with that curveball. That's coming across and catching a lot of plate. And if he stays back, he's going to drive that thing with some serious authority. A two-to-one score here as we play inning number three. Hit on the ground to third. And there are two away now. Now that designated hitter, Renato Nunez. So two men are gone now in the Baltimore third. And digging in next at the plate will be Renato Nunez. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 1-0. The 1-0 home. Belted high in the air out to left. Back on it is the left fielder. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game as the Orioles have come back to tie this one at two. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. The first base number so number now five. to the plate, Nate Lowe. This will take a look at the pitch. Too low, it's ball one. Two out, nobody on. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' first baseman. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. All even now, two and two. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And that is off the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Man, I thought for sure we were going to see back-to-back -back jacks right there. Well, when you serve up pitches like that, Matty, you know these hitters are going to put some good swings on them. And that's what happens here as he blasts this thing. The last two hitters have really set the stage. Yeah, so now we'll see if the next guy can keep this train rolling. Back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. And they'll tag him out at the plate. And that will keep our ball game tied as the inning is over. Orioles able to square things up on the solo home run. We play two and a half, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. And Standing in now, Kyle Tucker. No this will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Two balls and a strike. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. 2 and 2 now. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Now the three and two pitch. Freezes him. A strikeout looking. Up next for Tampa Bay. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Boy, not even close with that one, and he's behind 0-1. 
Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. Up next for Tampa Bay. The White Buick. Hunter. Renfro. So two are gone here in the Tampa Bay third inning. And that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Wind up and the 0 1. And this pitch is looked at for a ball, and that'll even the count of the Rays right fielder at 1 and 1. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind 1 and 2. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. Even 2 and 2 count to Hunter Renfro. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Down in order go the Rays. We're through three, tied two apiece. Digging in for his second at bat, DJ Stewart. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Like that pitch there, lefty on lefty matchup. Curveball away to a lefty. Smart pitch. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. And with that double, he's two for two and halfway to the cycle. Gave it a good ride, and that's the second time he's barreled up the ball. So he's seeing the ball really. Stepping in now, Austin Hayes. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. and Hayes, a native Floridian. He's in his third season as a major league player. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees, one and one. He waits, now the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Renfro is over a few steps toward the line, and he has it for the first out. Now that. And while we have a moment, here's a look at the Rays' road to the show report. Two guys there that this organization has to be happy about right now. In now, Adley Rutschman as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Two runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one two a swinging bunt out in front of the plate throw in time at first for route number two now batting the second baseman Ramon Urias in now Ramon Urias flied out in his first at bat so make him 0 for 1 so far behind on that one now behind in the count 0 and 1 Ready with the 0-1. Two runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. And another foul ball. Ready on 0-2. Line drive to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One left for the Orioles. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth, all even at two apiece. 
just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Up next for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at-bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Ball one. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Hit the other way out toward right field. Stewart is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. Up next for Tampa Bay, the second baseman, Joey Wendell. Digging in, Joey Wendell. He reached on a single. Here's the pitch. Hey. Called a strike on the outer half. 0-1-1. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly oh, in the hole 0-2. Right. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. One-two <laughs> offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say, that's a great A-B. Down 0-2, and you work the walk. But if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook, and that can really frustrate you. So digging in now, Luke Maley. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. The 1-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Down into left center for a base hit. Patty, that's a surprising pitch right there. I don't understand after blowing the fastball by him, he would speed his bat up with off speed. Yeah, redemption after being late right on time with the off speed pitch next. Into the box now, Willie Adamas. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Adamas brings a batting average in the low 220s to the table. This is the classic case of the modern-day ball player right there. You can... It's through. Let's see if they send him around to try to score. Long throw to third. And this will not be in time as he's into third base safely. Boy, that has to feel Number good three. as a hitter, D. Where you get that zero. base hit to give your team Number the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Dominic Smith will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command. Nothing in two. With one out and runners on the corner, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play nope. if it's well executed. One and two to Dominic Smith. Two. 
to two balls and two strikes now. All right, no more hoping he's going to chase. It's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Well, his struggles continue. Now it's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And yeah, watching yeah. this at bat, it's Near clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer, And no swing, apparently. Ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. 3-0 to him now. Runners on first and third, two away. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. And things are not looking good here in the fourth inning. That's the second walk of the frame. Good time for the catcher to go out to the mound and have a chat with this guy to give him a little breather. So our situation has the bases loaded. Two men out. And in to hit next will be the outfielder, Kyle Tucker. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find the zone. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. The count now at two and one. Two out, base is loaded. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move, and no one will track it down. The 2-2. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. A couple of hits lead to a run here for Tampa Bay. We played four full. The Rays are in front, 3-2. Ryan Barucki, the 6'4 southpaw, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Ready for another shot now, Andrew Velasquez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch on its way. Slow little grounder left side. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting, third baseman, Hunter Alberto. So striding in, Hunter Alberto. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. One and one the count now. Now here's the pitch. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit out towards second. Reined in. In time to first, and there are two away. Now that designated hitter, Renato Sunio. Digging in and looking for more, Renato Nunez. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. That one bends into the zone, a strike on the breaking ball. And he takes strike two. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They trail three to two. Brandon Bailey, 5'10 right-hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 59, Brandon 
Bailey. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Just missing here, 2-0. and oh. You'd never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at-bat, starting right now. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. You know, Matty, I'll never understand this. You work so hard throughout the course of the season and course of this game to get in 1-0, 2-0, 3-1 counts. Guarantee yourself a fastball. 80 to 90 percent of the time and he takes it just can't understand the methodology there and he tried to hold up that time we'll get an appeal down to third and no swing it's ball three now the three and two pitch lofted in the air out toward right center Urias calls for it makes the play one away Next for Tampa Bay, the right field, Hunter Renfro. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Hunter Renfro. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. A ball and a strike. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Here it comes. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Third baseman number two. Ready now, Yandy Diaz. He doubled Diaz. earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line towards center field. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Maybe a rug burner two after that one as we get another look at it here. More of the show, Saturday baseball, after this. Four hole hitter Nate Lowe. He set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Nate Lowe. First delivery to him on the way. And there's his strike right down the heart of the plate, 0 1. Hit down the line at first. And a heck of an effort over there at first, but it'll be for naught as this is a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ground ball right side straight into the shift. Scooped up. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Had to protect there with two strikes, and he just got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Anthony Santander the next to bat. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. The bat, number 24. Now at the plate, D.J. Stewart. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Nope, Lays off 1-0. and oh. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. 
Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Too tight with that one. 3-0. and oh. Now with the bases empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. and oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. And here's the 3-2 from him. now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're down three to two. Bottom of the sixth inning now and set to go is the second baseman, Joey Wendell. The second baseman. Here comes the first pitch. This one's blooped out toward right center field. In there, a base hit. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately. And there's just another example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it. When you're flowing like he is right now, he's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. First offering on its way. And that misses ball one. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen now as they've got a left-hander up and throwing. That evens it up one and one. Hits are even at seven apiece. Popped him up. Rutschman waits on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Up next for Tampa Bay. So striding forward now, Willie Adamas. He singled his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. Now a move over to first, and he'll be back in standing up. From the belt, the pitch. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at-bat. The 1-2. Count. Two and two. Okay. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And the payoff pitch. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. The first base Oh, man, that check swing was about as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire, but it goes the batter's way this time, and he draws the walk. Digging in to try it again. Dominic Smith. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Runners are at first and second with one away. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. 
Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes, that elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that, but most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there, a big swing and a miss and another strikeout. He's got it, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Rays strand a pair, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Paul Fry is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 51, Paul Fry. Now to the plate, Austin Hayes. He flew out in his last at-bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. Ground ball right side. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting. The catcher. Adley Ruckman. Now with the plate, Adley Rutschman. Over two with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. Outside with the fastball that's 1-0. Two and zero. Oh. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a two zero count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. Three and zero oh now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. And that hole at bat, I feel like he really didn't want to challenge him. And I'm really surprised by that because I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after. Stepping into the box, Ramon Urias. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. No balls and a strike to count. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Line drive, base hit to right. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, D. Roll, there's another base hit making it first and second. They're piling up the hits on the day, but so far, not many runs to show for it. Yeah, definitely a few knocks in the cupboard makes you feel good, and the batting average goes up, but that doesn't help you win ball games. Somebody's got to come up with a nice A-B with runners in scoring position. One ball, no strikes to count. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2 0, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. One there on the first. It's a double play. And another crisis is averted here as the inning is over. Orioles leave one. Still a 3 2 ball game. Tanner Scott gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Striding into the box, Kyle Tucker. He has no prior history against this pitcher. The left fielder, Kyle Tucker. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. The 1-0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. The 1-1 is a fastball down below the knees. Two balls, one strike, a count. The 2-1 home. That down. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. The 3-1 is swung on and missed. A full count now. Hoo-wee! That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by.
Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. Into the box, Austin Meadows. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate now, Hunter Renfro. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball 1-0. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Looked like a slider perhaps, but it missed badly and it's 2-0. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitter's counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitcher's pitches. And when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. 2-1 and one now. Two out, nobody on. To two and two now. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Three up. Three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. Ready to begin the eighth and set to go as the third baseman. Hunter Alberto. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Strike two called on the inner half, 0-2 now. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now, down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. A swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Swing and a liner. And that'll be a base hit. So very quickly here, the potential tying run is aboard to start the eighth. And he'll get in at second base as the tying runs aboard with a leadoff now double. Bad. No doubt hitter. about it. He was looking Ronaldo. fastball all the way there, and that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out. Runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. Renato Nunez will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one and it's strike one. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. Got him to go after that one. He's in a quick hold. 0-2. Hey, with first base open, pitcher's definitely going to nibble and try and see if the hitter expands his own. 
Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hit hard on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first is in time for the first down. The first baseman, number 35, Nate Lowe. So now the Oriole cleanup hitter, Nate Lowe, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up, and there's out number two. The left fielder, number 25, Anthony Santander. Standing in, Anthony Santander. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Back up the middle. And a base hit as that'll bring the tying run in from third. And they've come back to knot things up at even here in the eighth. Now you know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. I don't At the plate, D.J. Stewart, as he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. So far, two for three in this one. And it looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Into center field, line drive base hit. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's now another back. hard hit single. Look Three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the plate. Now batting, Austin Hayes in a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. From the stretch, hit down the third baseline. Well, this is foul for the first strike. Come set the 0 1. Grounded back up the middle. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. But the tying run comes across to score here as this one looks like it'll go to the wire. Home half of the eighth straight ahead, and we are all tied at three apiece. Oliver Drake is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 49, Oliver Drake. Stepping up now, Yandy Diaz. He's working on a one for three thus far. The third baseman, Yandy Diaz. Here's the first pitch to him. Count one and oh. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. The 1-1 one, one home is in off the plate. A little early, and now it's even at 2-2. Two and two. Splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. The 3 2 pitch is swung on and missed strike three. Well, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. 
Joey Wendell digs in now as he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Comes set and the 0 1. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitter's meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. One ball and two strikes to count. Pulled toward right center field. Hayes is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now back. The pitcher. Luke. So stepping in, Luke Maley. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A ball and no strikes. Nope. And he misses again, 2 and 0. Drake was once a member of the club he matches up against in this one. He came here by way of trade earlier this year. Yeah, Matty, you mentioned he's playing his former club, and that can get tricky sometimes. I don't know if he's going to dinner with these guys after the game, or he showed up here with an axe to grind. The 2-1 pitch. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time, ball three. Wow, was he looking to swing the bat right there. Check pitch on a swing. That ball wasn't even close to the zone. Here's the 3-1, and he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and up next will be Willie Adamas. Set. Here it comes. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Santander waits on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We played eight full, and we are all tied at three apiece. Andrew Kittredge will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. set to start the ninth in this one and that'll bring in the first year catcher Adley Rutschman here it comes hey, it's much easier to lay off the breaking stuff when it's coming in towards you instead of when it breaks away a good take there throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway up next to Warrior the second baseman Ramon Uriah Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ramon Urias. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. A shot down the first baseline. Kittredge, playing here in his age 29 season. He was taken in the very late rounds during the 2008 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. High chopper to third. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. Back to the top of the Oriole lineup now, and stepping in, Andrew Velasquez. First offering on its way. Comes set. The 0-1. Nope. Ball one. Didn't get the call there, but you can't let that bother. You just have to say, uh, so what? And make another good pitch. And a 
fastball swung on and hit to second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Score remains tied at three to three. Richard Blyer enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Richard Blyer. Digging in, Dominic Smith, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. He's set and the pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Good pitch there down below the zone, got him to go after it. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Sinker misses that time and it's two and one. Nearly got the inside but ruled the ball. And a left-handed batter waiting on deck, though there's a good shot he might get pulled back. The 3-1. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. So Tampa's batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Kiermeyer, who could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Mm, a little tardy there, no balls and a strike. And he lays off for ball one. Now the one and one pitch. One out, nobody on. Line to the right side, but foul. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And that's the second out. Coming to the plate now, Kyle Tucker struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Outside for a ball, one and one. One and one, the pitch. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aborted first. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Next will be the designated hitter, Austin Meadows. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Here's the first pitch, and it's belted high and deep into right center. And this one will bounce into the wall. Tucker heads for the plate, and a relay home. Rays win. Rays win. Rays win. 
And they do it in walk-off style. Endings just don't get much better than this. Great job at the plate putting the ball in play. And then the runner at first does the rest. Stop at third? No way. Rounded third, flew home, and scored the game winner. My heart is still in my throat. Well, everyone was treated to a really well-played ball game in this one, and the guy you see there turned in a particularly notable performance, so he's our tops player of the game in this one. Well, when your one hit of the game is a home run, and it ends up being a really critical one, you have to feel pretty good. It wasn't a huge day on the stat sheet, but it led his team to a win, and that's all you can hope for as a player. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. The Rays came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Andrew Kittredge gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Rays. Four runs on eight.